Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Praetorian. Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as we are playing with the Japanese Empire. Uh, so we should be finishing this war up soon, guys. Uh, as of right now, it's just the United States and Canada. Those are the only two that we have to get out of the war. Uh, so far, South Africa does not have enough uh, uh, factories for them to qualify as a major power. So we do not have to defeat them. Hopefully it stays that way since we don't really have really too many people over here. We got these troops in Madagascar, which I have going to the port here, uh, and they might do an invasion over here to kind of help out in Africa or something, or they could invade South Africa. I mean, it might be an easy target. Maybe we'd want to invade from this port here over to here and take that port, and then maybe we can get them to capitulate really, really quick, just in case um, they're building a lot of factories over there. I don't know. Uh, might be something we want to do, though. Uh, so we we probably aren't going to finish this episode, guys. Uh, see, there's still quite a lot left to do. Uh, we'll see when we get to the 30-minute marker. Um, basically, uh, if if we are at 30 minutes and the piece is going to happen soon, then we'll just this will be the finale. Uh, but let's see where we're at. More than likely, it's going to be at least another video. Uh, and then, of course, there's always a chance that America could put up a hell of a fight and everything just stall the fuck out. And then, <laughs> then it takes longer than two episodes, but I don't think that's going to be the case, guys. Uh, so, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I believe we can unpause. I don't think there's too much that we have to do. Oh, actually, there's a few questions I had to address here, uh, as well as a few other things that I wanted to run through real quick. Um, first of all, over here, uh, this army. We're going to change all these guys to cavalry units. Might as well. I don't really have any training in any damn ways. Uh, and then, um, yeah, the, the reason for that is it... Is it these guys? Or these are our cavalry units? Did we never actually name these? I don't think we did. Um, all right, well, let's go ahead and change that over to that. I wanted to double check that before uh, I leave that as, yeah, this is our regular cavalry unit. Um, so a few things that you guys have asked for. Um, one person wanted to look at the uh, Marines, what their division design is. We got combat with the 12, and this is what we're rocking when it comes to our, our support units over here. Um, so yeah, that's the Marines, and then the other one they wanted to see was the Fuji Fighters, the Mountain Troops, combat with the 20, and then, yeah, pretty much just Mountain Troops, we don't want to lose any of our bonuses here, and then support units, um, that's it. And another thing that was brought up was getting rid of all these division designs, um, by easily, like, you know, changing them to, like, a, something that we see here and we know, uh, we could just change them to Paradox, say, hey, these are, these are Paradox, Paradox's designs, um, and they're terrible. Uh, so yeah, we could just change them all through here. This is actually the quicker way to do this. Um, where, oh, where is that Paradox one? Can we not find the Paradox one in here? I just want to make sure that they're all the same. So as soon as I see that, I know, hey, these need to be changed. All right, I'm not able to find the Paradox one in here. Maybe I'm just uh, overlooking it. Or maybe it's not in here. But let's go back and we'll do it. We'll do it the... Uh, the old way here. Um, change this to Paradox. There we go. Excellent. Um, we'll do these ones as well, just so that we can easily find them. Ah, I keep doing this because this is the, the easiest way to do this. Um, but yeah, just so we can easily find them so we can get rid of them because we're not going to use them. Uh, and apparently there's still some out there. So, god damn it, I'm going to keep doing that. Uh, so yeah, let's let's make sure that we get rid of these guys because um, we don't need them. They're terrible, terrible designs, guys. Uh, so yeah, if we see them anywhere, um, yeah, we'll get rid of them. Uh, I don't know where they could be though. Um, yeah, it's hard to say exactly where where they could be at because I don't I don't really see anybody over here. Um, but you know what? It doesn't matter. This is really not that important. Apparently, there are divisions though somewhere, somewhere in the world. Uh, we've got um, these divisions here. I knew I found some in Africa. Uh, I don't know where the rest are. Uh, but like I said, oh, there's one right there. All right, well, let's get rid of these guys. Get rid of them. Uh, oh, there's another one. Excellent. All right, yeah, there's quite a few kind of just dotted around over here. Uh, seems like a lot of them were in North Africa. I didn't know we had some Chinese ships over there in the Mediterranean. All right, um, what I want to do is we're going to combine it with this fleet over here, which does cause issues, doesn't it? Yes, it does. All right, we want, there we go. It's the Reorganized Nationalist China Fleet. Um, I didn't even name it that. It just happened to fit. So that's awesome. Let's go ahead and merge these two here. Let me go over there and help sink convoys for us. Look at all the troops that are coming across the seas here. There are quite a few. And then the last thing brought up in the comments is apparently we are trading for too much aluminum over here. So yeah, let's let's uh, change that. We don't need to trade for any aluminum. We've got that. I don't know if that's from the annexation of China. That's what I would guess. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I went ahead and did a few things before we started the episode, like changed up our air forces and stuff. Um, that's why you're seeing these tick to green, because now they're getting more air support. Uh, so I did that off camera. Because uh, even though they have changed the air design, it's so much easier to use, it's still kind of a pain in the ass. All right, so we just got more dockyards. Um, what do I think we're going to do with these? Uh, how many how many uh, convoys do we have? We still got a ton of convoys. We're good on convoys. Uh, I think what we'll do, it feels like we're kind of lacking in the light cruisers. So let's do light cruisers. Uh, we'll do light cruisers three. And since we're doing new design, God, you know what? I kind of want to do it on a, 
on a better ship here like the carriers yeah we'll spend our experience on the carriers uh we'll just do a light cruiser uh light cruiser three mark twos yeah it looks like mark twos is our most recent one we might want to decommission that so i don't accidentally build those all right so let's go and get another line of these guys they'll be at the bottom here it's fine um yeah we'll we'll leave it like that and then I want to go ahead and use our Navy experience because it's starting to really get up there. I mean, all this stuff is kind of not really all that important, guys, if I'm being honest here. Um, because, you know, we've, we've essentially won the war. But might as well. Um, looks like we only put some points into a few things here. All right, well, let's go and tick these up some. Uh, we're going to want to go with... Uh, I guess we can keep on going this way here. Yeah, that's, that's looking good. I like this. This will work out, guys. Um, this will increase deck size, too, so that's nice. Um, let's go ahead and uh, get these guys building our... Let me see. Uh, Mark twos. That's what we're on. Uh, yeah, we'll lose the 45 days of production. I'm fine with that. All right, so that's excellent. So everything is looking good here. We do want to change the ships up so that they uh, make sure they deploy where all the other ships are deploying. Okay. All right. Right there. All right, awesome. Uh, I know we have a huge navy there, but once again, I'm not, I'm not messing with it right now. Let's see what we can do here. I wanna, I wanna get started here, guys. Um, you know, we're already like, you know, several minutes in the episode and we haven't done anything. So let's get moving here. Uh, I've got my marines also moving over here. What we're trying to do is trying to get these units surrounded. Though it seems that we might have a bit of issues doing that. Uh, let's bring these guys over here and let's attack with these tanks. Make sure that they can't get around there. Uh, and then we're gonna bring the marines. Ah, oh, that kind of sucks. Hmm. All right, we're gonna have to bring these marines up this way. Uh, you Marines are going to come over here. Uh, we're trying to surround that unit. It's not super important, but I want to do it anyway. I want to do it anyway, guys. Uh, so hopefully this unit, is, they're probably not going to be cut off, though, because, yeah, we'll have we'll have this taken here. But, yeah, I'm trying to get those guys surrounded, get them destroyed. We'll just see what happens over here. Uh, we'll use this, uh, this guy over here. I bet he's going to be a lot quicker uh, moving there. Um, so, yeah, looks like we are about to get them surrounded. Nice. Um, and then we'll, we'll wipe out that division just because we can. Just because you can. Now, the reason why these are red, well, I know the reason why this one's red is there's not really anybody attacking, but they're not getting air support in this region, in New Mexico, uh, because we're still waiting to get that air base. I need control of the Arizona air base, unfortunately. And I'm, I'm building it up, too, not realizing that I didn't have control of it. So we're actually uh, currently working on trying to build that. Um, and, yeah, the, the Canadians that you went, we're over here fighting in areas that are completely irrelevant. Just kind of letting our uh, AI manage all these on their own right now. We're 7 to 14 days for these two invasions. Uh, we'll be launching those soon. It looks like the Germans are still winning in Florida, which is uh, good to see. We did get these guys destroyed. Let's go and wipe them out now. Uh, get them wrapped up. Oh, it's a couple divisions. Nice. I was thinking there's only one. Uh, so let's go ahead and send a few more guys. Actually, it looks like we're going to have to send. What we'll do, we'll support with these guys. All right, so that should... Uh, they should be able to win there. I just want to see how many divisions are here. Just two divisions. All right. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to get those two completely uh, destroyed, which is nice. Um, and then I guess we can go ahead and tell the Orange Army uh, to execute. Execute their orders here. Um, I know they're saying that they can't do it, but I believe in them. I believe in these guys that they can do this damn thing. Um, what we're going to do here, because it looks, looks ugly, <laughs> we're just going to reduce this like so and make them go this way. All right. Just like that, guys. Get it done. All right, so there's only 21 divisions assigned to this. Uh, I think this is divisions, the one that's not currently assigned to it. So as soon as he finishes this, he should move on over to here. Awesome. Um, and yeah, we'll get the uh, the troops moving forward here. We need this airbase here. Do we not have a Texas airbase? There is one here. Uh, we're not going to make use of it, I don't think. Let me just see what the air regions are. The air regions are just so massive. Oh, wow. Yeah, they're just so massive here in this... Uh, in the United States. It's such a problem. Uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and make use of it uh, because uh, we don't really have any other options here. So let's go ahead and put... We'll do... Um, I really want to protect my close air support. Uh, and I won't really want to get their their fighters destroyed. So what we'll do is we're going to continue doing more fighter wings than close air support until we get the American Navy uh, dealt with. Um, they're still pretty strong. All right, and we're going to want to assign them here to the southwest. Uh, they're going to do an air superiority and close air support here. Uh, so I think that should be helpful. Uh, it should help us out here. Once we take this base here, which we're going to do now, go ahead and attack, guys. Um, although we should have probably just let them leave here. When are they going to get out of there? Oh, that's a long time. I'm not waiting for that shit. Uh, we'll just have to make it happen. Make it happen, Captain. Uh, okay, looks like they decided to pull out, even though they could have beat us there, because they wanted they wanted to leave anyway. Uh, but this is going to give us access to that airbase, uh, which is going to be incredibly helpful. Um, it looks like we actually did finish our conquest here. Um, I think rather than have them uh, extend 
over here into New Mexico, where, like I said, we don't have a lot of air support. I mean, really, we just have these planes, which they can reach, it seems. Um, but yeah, rather than go into New Mexico, I think we'll let the army kind of finish up over here. Uh, because, yeah, we're kind of falling behind. This is, uh, this is Utah here. Uh, so yeah, we're kind of falling behind in Utah. So once we catch up there, then we'll continue. And we did get our airbase here, which is awesome. Uh, let's go ahead. I'm surprised the airbase is right there. Um, okay, let's let's go ahead and uh, how many how many uh, spots do we have here? All right, we're at 800 right now. Uh, we'll go 200 and 200. Uh, get ourselves some air support here. It's going to be very much needed. Um, they're going to be needed in the southwest there because uh, we're going to be launching our our uh, invasion there soon. Uh, and yeah, we still. Still having close air support issues, unfortunately. Um, don't have a lot of close air support. I pulled um, planes from all around the world in between episodes, trying to increase our numbers because we had planes kind of like doing stuff they didn't need to do. Uh, for now, do we want them to continue? We already have quite a few planes here, and I believe those units can reach. So let's go ahead and assign these to the southwest now, um, just as it saves me saves me uh, from having to do it later. Um, so yeah, that'll work. Uh, that'll give us some more uh, planes over here, and they can help out any attacks there. Uh, and then anywhere else where we might uh, have an open spot where we can throw some throw some planes, I'm not really seeing it, guys. Uh, we'll just have to uh, uh, we'll just wait till we capture another airbase. Is there anything else that we need to do here? Let's take a look at these real quick. Um, see if we destroyed. We got a lot of convoys sunk. We did lose a destroyer. Got a lot of planes shot down too as well. Unfortunately, yeah, that's really sad to see. Uh, losing a lot of planes. Don't like that at all. Not one bit. All right. Well, nothing to be done about it now. Uh, and then uh, I believe our invasion should be ready. Yes, sir. All right, let's go ahead and get a launching, guys. Uh, we're going to launch all of these. Um, I think it's yellow and blue, right? Yep, yellow and blue. All right, so these guys are launching now. Um, or they should be anyway. Yeah. Uh, so um, once they attack here in these two ports, we're going to have uh, more areas that we can send troops. Remember, we do have two more armies coming over this way. They're not quite here yet. Um, yeah, I don't see them. I don't know where they're at. Oh, here we go. Here's one of them. Um, and these guys are probably going to be going into this one here. And then the other army will probably send up into this one, uh, the new port that we're taking. We do see that there's some issues here. Um, we can go ahead and use this air base. But yeah, you can see there's some issues. We're not really we're having some trouble expanding uh, on this front, unfortunately. Uh, not having air support might be the reason. So let's get some air support. I think that'll help out. Uh, and I, I want to see... Uh, the numbers. Oh, yeah, there's one more thing that somebody asked to look at as well. I have to check that here in a second. Uh, but I'd love to see the numbers for the uh, American Air Force as well. Um, I'm curious on how they're how they're doing. So we're gonna look at that too, because uh, we actually need to look at something when it comes to America anyway. Uh, so we'll check that out here momentarily. Let's get these guys assigned first uh, to this new region. Oh, yeah, they don't have any air support here. All right, well, let's fix that. Air superiority, close air support. Awesome. Uh, so they'll be able to help us out down here in Louisiana. Um, what else was I want to do? Yes, that's right. We're going to check something on America. I want to check. First of all, somebody asked about their conscription. They are at all adults serve right now. Wow. 20% uh, recruitable population. So they're probably doing fairly well in broad population, but as you can see, there's a lot of other issues that comes with that. Uh, and then the other thing I want to look at was their Air Force. They still have 4.8 to 6,000 planes that's a lot they have eight ships left as well all right um so yeah the american air force still fairly strong what is going on with these troops here what is happening um okay it looks like they might not be assigned to that front well that would explain why they fell behind all right yeah i don't know what the hell happened there um yeah that definitely explains their issues uh because yeah they don't really have many troops over here all right, so that should fix it once they get over there. Um, and this stalling, because, yeah, I don't want them to continue advancing because uh, they're pushing the front too far forward, um, you know, getting too far ahead of these guys. Uh, but we will be connecting this, so I guess there's that. All right, well, let's let them finish taking uh, Utah first. Um, and then we'll invade uh, uh, New Mexico, and we'll be invading Colorado here. Uh, that's where I live, guys. I live in Colorado. Um, so, so, yeah, we're going to invade uh, my current home state right now. So I don't really like calling it home state because that kind of implies like that's where I'm from or something, uh, which is not the case. I just moved here a couple years ago. Uh, overall, I like it, I suppose. It's better than where I came from. I was living in Texas before. Uh, yeah, not a big fan of Texas, not strictly because it's Texas or anything. I just didn't have a great experience there overall. Uh, it looks like our invasions here are done. That is awesome to see. Uh, but there's more troops here trying to stop us, so we have to deal with that. Um, what we'll do, I'm just going to delete this. Delete it. And then we're going to send these, uh, these troops here to this port. Make sure they can come help help us in that area. Uh, and these guys here are just now launching. I don't know what the hell happened there. 
All right, that's weird. Yeah, I don't know why. Did they fail? They don't have any organization. It makes me think they failed. Huh, they might have failed. So what we're going to do, let's just stop that. You guys can come back in here. Get your planning back up. Yeah, because clearly it looks like they failed, and then yeah, they they're now going back out. Um, so yeah, that's not gonna work out, guys. You're not gonna you're not gonna be able to do it. Uh, so where's those troops at? Are they not here yet? Where are where? There's okay. There's the purple army, but I wanted the purple army to go into this side of things. So we're not gonna put them over there. Where's the yellow army? That's the question. There's another yellow army on their way, or they should be anyway. I'm not seeing them anywhere though. Where oh where is my yellow army? Did they not leave? They should have left. Huh. Okay, I've lost them. We've lost an army, guys. Did I send them somewhere? Hmm. Yeah, okay, wait a minute. Nope, that's all purple. Yeah, I don't I don't know where the fuck the yellow army went. We sent another army over here. I guess we could click over here. I'm a dummy. Oh, they're coming from way up north. Wow. Oh, all right, we sent them in that port. That's why. Yeah, I don't want them to do that. No. No, don't do that. Come over here. Yeah, come over this way. That was my bad. Um, I guess I decided to send them over that way, but that was not the best place to send them. I uh, did think some more convoys. We're losing a ton of planes in those engagements, though. I don't know if that's entirely the best uh, way to do it. Nice. The AI cut some units off here. Wow. Good job, guys. Proud of you. Um, we'll, we'll go ahead and help deal with this here. Uh, we're going to get all the mountain troops attacking over there. Um, and, yeah, let's have these two attack this way. All right, awesome. Uh, and then we're going to have all these red troops. You guys are all going to attack over here. And you guys are going to... Yeah, that's fine. You can support that. I'm okay with that. All right, awesome. So, yeah, try and get this area wrapped up as quickly as possible. Uh, yeah, looking pretty good here. Uh, once we get this finished up, like I said, we'll, we'll uh, continue our, our attack. Uh, why are we having issues here? What's what's the problem? What's going on here? Uh, let's take a lake. There, take, I said, let's say, I'm looking at Salt Lake City. I'm like, let's take a lake. Um, let's see. Uh, maybe, yeah, a lot of these guys are leaving here. Maybe we want to let them leave. I can't even see uh, when they're going to leave. Looks like we just took Salt Lake City. All right, let's uh, try send another division. Can that get it to green? Maybe. Just maybe. Um, instead of you guys doing whatever you're doing here, support that attack. Uh, they're supporting already. All right, awesome. Maybe that'll result in a victory there. Uh, we'll just have to see. Uh, these guys have really low organizations, so that's an unfortunate. Um, 24 divisions assigned. Yeah, we're good to go. We've already kind of pushed in. I, these guys, the Germans, decided they're going to do their own damn thing and pushed in there uh, without me. But whatever, they can do what they want. Uh, we do have four divisions over here, we're about to get two more, uh, and they have to kind of hold the line until we get that other army here, uh, and that's okay, I think they can do it, though, man, they are really attacking, they're attacking from all directions here, uh, and these two divisions aren't gonna be that helpful, because they don't have any fucking organization, so, yeah, I don't know how helpful they're gonna be, um, you know, helping hold this area, I think they can do it, though, it looks pretty good, uh, the Germans are also gonna distract the troops over that way, America is having some serious fucking difficulties over here, uh, Canada, though, what the fuck, man? Canada is, like, fighting, fighting their little hearts out over there, aren't they? Uh, let's go ahead and, we're gonna be getting, ah, damn it. Uh, we're gonna be getting another army going into America soon. Um, I don't know how many we have thus far. Quite a lot, though. Yeah, this will be 19. These are all infantry divisions, of course. Uh, but, yeah, I, once we get a full one, I think we're gonna send them. Maybe we'll have, yeah, we're gonna have a full mechanized tank division, tank army. Yes, I think we. Will. I think we're just gonna go ahead and send these 19 divisions um, over there now. Yeah, we'll we'll wait till those other guys get there. It's fine. It's not really a rush or anything. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna send ourselves another army um, so they don't have to fight on such long fronts here. We can man uh, have a little bit less uh, units per per province. Uh, also, these guys are here are covering a much larger region than these ones. We'll get that fixed as soon as they push forward here. Remember, th some things are getting kind of adjusted because we did get these guys wrapped up over here. Uh, how's the green front doing? It's looking pretty good. Uh, we're, we're moving slow, very, very slow. Uh, it doesn't seem to be, they don't really seem to be advancing as quickly as they should be either. Uh, all 24 divisions are on the offensive. Maybe they're just having difficulties? I don't know. Uh, looks like we defeated them there. Uh, can we take a, how about we take a province here, guys? Uh, what kind of province is this? This is, uh, this is a plane. So what we're going to do, we're going to send these two Marines over there, and then we're going to send these guys this way. And then whatever this guy's doing, instead I want you to support that. I know it's attacking across river, so that's why having those marines would be helpful. Uh, and yeah, we got field hospitals four. Nice. That'll be helpful. Uh, what we're going to go ahead and get, uh, I almost want to go ahead and get the engineer company fours because uh, we get that urban attack bonus. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get the urban attack bonus. Remember, these are all bonuses that are going to apply immediately, so they're really good for us to get. At this point in the war, we really don't want to be getting any kind of bonus that we have to like wait for. Uh, I believe we're going to try to do the marines again. Uh, I know that they, they could continue having difficulty taking this port here. Oh, that sucks. All right, that's fucking useless. 
Damn you. Damn you. All right, is there any, like, states we can attack where... Yeah, maybe we're going to attack... Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, let's just delete this again. I, I hate that I have to keep doing this, guys. I do not like it, but I'm really trying to get... Uh, I want an area for ourselves here. Go back that way. Uh, I want them to uh, have a, a state that's ours, that, uh, you know, we'll build a building and shit like that. So let's attack this one. This is the last chance, guys. Uh, this is the last state I see, because um, I don't really want Georgia, because uh, we're going to be in Georgia soon anyways. Uh, so yeah, if we can't attack North Carolina, then yeah, I don't see... I don't see us being able to do this invasion, unfortunately. Uh, we're not going to be able to get a uh, state for ourselves um, over here on the East Coast. It's just the way it is. All right, so um, 13 divisions coming in now, guys. They're almost there. Uh, and then we'll get that, give them a front and get them moving forward. Uh, and then we could also attack over this way since the tanks are already doing it. Nice. Um, uh, also, I kind of want to get a, a unit going this way to cut these divisions off over here, a fast unit. Um, I don't know, though. No. Maybe once we reduce the size of this front a little bit. Like, you guys can move over here. Come on. There's nobody here. I guess they don't really have an order to go there, so that's why they're not doing it. Did you guys finish your orders? They did. All right. So what we're going to go ahead and do, let's just change up these fronts just a little bit. Uh, this blue army here, uh, we're going to reduce your front. You're going to cover... Uh, I almost feel like they don't really need to cover um, this wide of an area here. Uh, instead, cover this. And then we're going to give them an order uh, to take Colorado and invade into Texas like so all right so that's your guys order um, I want you guys to go now Yeah, just go ahead and do it now uh, and then we're going to go ahead and increase these guys front they're gonna cover that for us and their order um, the Red Army's all up yeah I don't really want the Red Army in Canada um, come on down here oh no that's Green Army um, is that Green Army as well I can't tell nope all right, so Red Army, you guys are going to come down there. Uh, actually, it seems that these fronts are a little bit dicked up here. Yeah, as usual. That's expected, right? Uh, let's just reduce that like so, and Red Army can cover that. Uh, there shouldn't be as many divisions up here in the north, uh, though I guess that, that would be applying logic to the AI that they might not be making use of. Uh, so let's give the Red Army a, another objective, because, yeah, they're not really doing anything. Let's have them. I want them to march all the way over here. Take this area, please. Uh, and you guys can go ahead and execute that now. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and send these guys, um, give them an order as well. Uh, you guys will cover in the middle, just like so. All right, awesome. Uh, and you guys can go execute that now as well. All right, so everybody should be attacking. Uh, let's move our planes if we can. Is there any other air bases that we don't have yet, um, you know, occupied? Uh, let's see. We have a little bit of room there because I've been building this up here. Um, let me just see here. Where do we want these guys? Uh, we were probably going to put them into the southwest here, is what I'm thinking. Although, some of them coming into here, the central U.S. might be beneficial as well. I can't really, I'm having trouble seeing, uh, oh, we're in Navy regions, that's why. So, this is the central U.S., so I think we should have some coming to the central U.S. Yeah, that would probably make sense. Um, so let's go ahead and make, uh, what, two more lines in here? What would that be? That would be, uh, we're at 1100 right now. That'd be 1500, so yeah, that's what we'll do. Let's get ourselves two more lines, um... And we'll get, well, I guess we'll get a fighter. Yeah, we'll get a fighter as well. Uh, fighter, fighter, fighters. There we go. Awesome. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and assign, I suppose these both of these two new units are going to, they'll go over here. And we'll get, uh, no, not interception. Close air support and air superiority. We're going to take one of these fighter units and one of these close air support and assign them over here. All right, awesome. So they can uh, help support that a little bit. There is an air base here that we do not have in our control yet, unfortunately. Um, hmm. I don't know that they can they can kind of reach there. Sure, we'll sign them over there. I don't think they can reach too well, though. Uh, and then, as far as the Rocky Mountains go, are we out of the Rocky Mountains region? It seems like we are. Uh, so let's go ahead and assign these guys over here as well. And you guys, too. They're all going to have difficulty reaching there, unfortunately. It's just the way it is. Um, and then I think everybody else is in Western Canada, which is fine. Um, we can actually increase the size of... Uh, Oh, wait, some of this is not, these guys are not set yet. All right, let's, let's fix that. Uh, yeah, but now I've been building this up, so we can add, uh, how many more air wings? We can do one more air wing. All right, well, one more close air support air wing will be helpful. Where, oh, where are they? Oh, man, we're running short on, on planes, guys. Definitely running short on planes. All right, let's go and get them assigned. You guys are doing close air support. And let's go ahead and take a look at our plane situation, our close air support. How many wing, uh, lines do we have? Uh, how many lines of close air support? As you can see, we haven't really had a whole line, a lot of lines. Oh, wow, okay, that's why. A lot of these factories are, uh, it's all messed up. Okay, uh, what we may want to do here, uh, just take a look at the stockpiles and see what we're doing, uh, what we have plenty of. 
We've got plenty of a lot of things. Anti-tanks, artillery, and infantry equipment is what I'm saying. Support equipment, quite a lot of that as well. Okay, so we don't really need as much of some of this stuff here. You can even see that infantry equipment three were pretty well stocked on. So let's pull some factories from that. Uh, we're also going to pull some, some factories from artillery. Um, well, I want to pull from this one, actually. Man, we got a ton of artillery. All right, we'll do it like that. Um, and then anti-tank as well. We can pull from that, too. All right, excellent. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and assign some to the motorized here. And then I believe we should get another line of uh, close air support. Um, yes. Let's do one more line of close air support, guys. Uh, we will do... Um, no, 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 let's wait because we have a lot of broken factories right now going to the carriers. Uh, how are we doing on the resistance right now? Uh, Hong Kong East. Okay. Did I not add, I think I didn't add Hong Kong onto our, uh, our, uh, guys or garrison here. So let's go ahead and fix that. Uh, we're going to give them one more garrison order for Hong Kong. All right, awesome. So that'll then now need 21. They have 24, 24, so they are good to go. Uh, so these guys here, we're gonna want to move these guys over to the U.S. because they are going to. We're, well, we're gonna let them move themselves. Uh, we're gonna give them a garrison order. Uh, they're gonna be covering all of the back regions here. Um, cover all this. I, I suppose they can cover. Yeah, they're gonna just cover everything, and then we'll just give them a larger uh, army. Uh, they don't need to cover that. We actually have troops there covering that, so that's not a problem. Uh, this is looking good. Yeah. This is what they're going to cover for us. Uh, currently, they need... We don't want them to guard anything. All we care about is the lowering of resistance. So they actually have plenty of divisions right now. Uh, apparently, you only need six. That is because, of course, we still have troops over here in many of these areas. Uh, we still have these four Marines, too. I'm not entirely sure what we're going to do with them just yet. They're probably going to be coming over here once we connect it and join in one of these Marine armies. I forgot all about this army here. Let's go ahead and give them a front. Uh, let's give them an order. Uh, they're going to be just attacking... Not too worried about attacking over this way. Uh, instead, just attack. I want you guys to attack like this. Yeah, like so. Actually, there's not really an, any point on going into Florida. Uh, just go this way. Uh, just get that line going. Um, we will wait to give them that order, though. I think it would behoove us to wait. We can send the Marines, though. We'll send the Marines over here. Uh, any other Marines. Uh, we're going to let these guys get a planning bonus and let their organization get back up. Because as you can see, their organization isn't doing all that well. Uh, and we'll send this division up this way. We'll send two of them. And then you two are going to support over here. All right, awesome. So we're just kind of pushing the front forward on all sides here um, with those Marines. Uh, the fall of Washington. So Washington has fallen. Um, it is in Brazilian hands now. That's awesome. That is excellent. That's just so cool. <laughs> the Brazilians have taken Washington, D.C. Yeah, look at this. So everybody, yeah, this is, God, let's just take a look at where the United States is at. They're currently 71% uh, towards capitulation right now. Um, we're... Coming on close to the 30 minute marker here. So yeah, it does look like we're probably not going to finish this in this episode. That's not surprising at all, guys. Uh, I was pretty much expecting that. Um, so what are you guys doing? How about instead of you, all you guys going that way, why don't you go that way instead? Um, can you guys help out anywhere? No, probably not. All right, getting a little bit of lag here as well. A lot of stuff going on here. You know, fighting in America is always a rough area. Yeah, I can tell it's lag because whenever it's playing, uh, that's when we see it. Uh, so how are these guys doing? They are 8 of 14 days. Uh, yes, that's right. I completely forgot about many things. <laughs> many, many things. Let's do our naval invasion over here. Uh, we're going to invade. We're going to invade down here. Uh, we're going to take this port right there. All right, awesome. So that's going to take them... Uh, it's going to take them eight days, apparently. Okay, awesome. So uh, we'll let them do their invasion soon. Uh, and then uh, what was the other thing I needed to do? I needed to do something. Yes, our troops. We have troops over here uh, that need to get involved in the war. What are these guys doing? Huh, that's weird. Did we not have... Hmm, I'm not entirely sure why they didn't travel with their compatriots. Uh, let's go ahead and put them over here anyway. Come on, maybe because they weren't required. I think that's what the deal was. It was determined that they weren't needed over there, so they didn't send them, perhaps? I don't know. Uh, but we'll leave it as is. Uh, we have this huge fleet over here that I, uh, I just don't want to mess with. Because I'm at the point where I just I just don't care. Uh, not enough. And they don't really have much of a coastline left, either. So that's the other thing. And we put these guys in the wrong damn place. All right, let's uh, fix that. All right, come on over there. Get over there, guys. All right, so they're there. Uh, we'll go ahead and grab all these guys. We're going to put them onto one army here. They're going to be going into the America's army. Uh, their color will be... Uh, what color will they be? Uh, we have... These guys are coming over here in America. we got so many American armies now, so it's 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 crazy. I suppose this color will work. We don't have that yet. Uh, now we just need to uh, find a symbol. I like having different symbols, different colors, everything. It just makes it so much easier to see uh, who's doing what. I don't think we have this one, so that will work. Uh, then we need to give them a commander. 
Let's see, uh, they can have uh, sake, sure. Uh, and then he's gonna be coming on over here to, um, I'm not entirely sure where we want him to help out yet. It feels like his help would be most needed up here in Canada. It feels like we're gonna get the United States defeated before we do in, in, uh, get the Canadians defeated. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna bring him up here. Uh, bring him into that, that port. Then when he gets here, we'll give him a front, give him a job, let him get to work. Um, yeah, and then we also have these troops over here training. This is going to be a really fast army. Uh, we're probably not going to need them anyways. Um, you know, this this war is pretty much a wrap, guys. Pretty much a wrap. Um, resistance. Okay, so they're still trying to get to Hong Kong, and then the rest are uh, that Bismarck, which is the island, and then there's one spot in the UK uh, that we one state that we're not able to really cover, and I don't I don't care enough about it to send troops. It's fine. I mean, I would love to. I guess we could send one cavalry division. I think that's what they need is like one or two cavalry divisions to get that covered. Uh, sinking a ton of convoys over here. Um, also getting bombed, apparently. Uh, and then, do we have the coastline yet? Almost. Uh, just a little bit more left to take, and the coastline is ours. Uh, and then the yellow army, I believe we can go ahead and tell the yellow army to engage. Let me just take a look here and see how they're doing on planning bonuses. I don't really have much of one. All right, uh, we can just continue having the Marines uh, take, take uh, territory for now. I suppose, like, uh, how about you guys help over here? Help out, right there. All right, awesome. Uh, we want to send these guys as well. Go ahead and take that for me. Uh, we do have a dockyard as well, so six dockyards, actually. Okay, let's go and get these assigned to, uh, I guess we can do light cruisers. Um, sure, we'll do, we'll do two more into light cruiser, and then let's go ahead and do, I think we're going to do battleships. Feels like that's one of the few things that, um, that we're kind of lacking over here. Let's get, what is our latest battleships? Do we not have any, uh, newer battleships? Seems like that's a no. All right, we just have the, uh, or no, no variance is what I'm trying to say. Well, we don't have the experience to really do anything with it, so let's just uh, pump those into that. And it seems that like most of those are broken any damn way. Uh, when did we get that was new? Are we are we researching outdated equipment over here? I'm not seeing any new stuff. All right, whatever. Apparently it's not important. Yeah, I'm not seeing any notifications about it. Uh, so I just want to make sure that we weren't, uh, you know, currently making use of, you know, or building anything that's, you know, outdated, of course. Um, so yeah, everything's looking good here. Uh, the orange army, we're gonna go ahead and make them push forward manually. Uh, go, just go ahead and attack over there. Yeah, you guys can support. They already did it on their own. Excellent, thank you. You guys go ahead and take this here for us. I'm just trying to take this little area here. Uh, let's go ahead and wrap up this army here. Uh, yeah, let's just close this off so these guys will be trapped, uh, which we'll need to send them another division because they just do not have enough as of right now. Uh, let's see if we can attack there and win. Uh, probably not, but let's, let's support and see. I, at least I want to lock them down. I don't want any more coming over here. Uh, that it would not be desirable. Um, this front looks like it's just too fucking wide for the amount of troops that we have here. I think that's a problem. All right. Um, how about you guys continue this way? Now you guys can go this way as well. Everybody come on up here, over here. Take a little bit more territory. We do have New Orleans in our hands, which is awesome. Uh, and then we've got factories too. Okay. Uh, let's go and get these assigned then. We're going to get, I almost want to do, like I said, I almost want to do another carrier. Uh, another thing of carrier, or excuse me, carriers. Another thing of, uh, close air support. I think we will. Let's do one more wing of close air support, guys. I think it will be helpful. Uh, let's just see here. I believe Mark 1s is where we're at right now. How much air experience we have? We do have a bit of air experience. So let's just go ahead and uh, uh, get an, another model of these and uh, put a little bit more experience into this. Let's do. Go ahead and tick the experience up to like four, I suppose, and then get like so. Let's do that. Can we get that? No, we cannot. All right. Well, that sucks. Uh, do we have? All right. That, I think this will work here. Uh, yeah, I suppose that works. Let's go and save that. All right, excellent. So, um, we got Mark 3s now. We need to get them, get the Mark 1s decommissioned. Get one more line of the Mark 2s. I don't know why I said Mark 3s. Uh, and then move them over here. And we're going to move all these guys as well, or change all these guys up at 2. There we go. Excellent. All right, so let's go ahead and move these guys up. And then we're done with these fucking planes. All right, uh, I'm just trying to get the, the close air support building up a little bit more because, yeah, we're, we're having some difficulty with it. Uh, we clearly don't have enough um, planes, um, uh, close air support planes, I should say. We have a ton of fighters. Did we ever take that area here? No, we didn't. We're still waiting to get this this air base here. Definitely need to get it. I think we're stalling out a little bit because of a lack of, of air bases. Um, maybe we should, we should build up some air bases because of that. Because, uh, yeah, Idaho doesn't have... Let's build Idaho up. We'll get Idaho... Uh, a few, um, or a, a decent sized air base. All right, awesome. Um, so they can kind of help us out there. Uh, and then, uh, do we want to build anywhere else? Good here. Uh, can we, should we, good, should we send these guys? Why do we only have, hmm, that's, that's weird. Did we lose it? How did we lose a division? 
That's that's really really strange. Yeah, I don't know how we lost the division here. We had 13, now we only have 12. I guess one of them got destroyed. Why are they? And they're having oh okay, and they're having attrition issues too. All right, let's just go ahead and send these guys. Um, it looks like they they actually oh I'm still looking at the wrong army. My bad. This was 12. This is 13. We're good to go over here. Uh, let's go ahead and send these guys. They do have the planning bonus. Let's send them uh, because yeah, we're having some some fucking problems here. Yeah, with the uh, supply issues are are getting kind of bad in this area. So yeah, let's and part of that is also because we have Turkish troops over here. Um, and I'm blaming them. They're five divisions. It's all their fault. It's not my fault. All right, so we are trying to get this wrapped up over here. Let's go ahead and destroy these units here. Uh, they are completely surrounded. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and send. I don't know where you why you guys are going to back. Why don't you go this way instead? Uh, get these guys coming over here and get this area wrapped up, uh, and then we can also attack here. I don't, I don't see any reason why we can't, you know, extend this area here. Let's go ahead and attack. Uh, the front has been changed up a little bit. Uh, we'll mess with it in next episode, though, guys, because this one is actually over. Uh, it does look like, yeah, we're not going to, unfortunately, not going to be able to... Oh, we, we sunk a battle cruiser and a destroyer. Nice. Um, oh, we still got... Looks like they still have <laughs> their fleets patrolling over here. That's interesting. Uh, yeah, they sent their fleet over here. I don't even know how. They don't even have a port. All right, well, whatever. Uh, we were thinking them. That's what's important. Um, but we don't, I don't think we have any ships over there to deal with those. Uh, but yeah, that is actually going to be the end of the episode, guys. Um, it, it, you can see we're, we're definitely moving forward here. Uh, and we're having some issues in the north. And that's because of the terrain, guys. The terrain is, is really rough up there. Uh, speaking of terrain, we might want to increase... Um, yeah, let's go ahead and build up in several of these areas here. Uh, get their uh, infrastructure up. I think that'd be wise. Uh, yeah, we're going to build in all this. We're going to even build here, guys. I don't care. I do not care. Let's go ahead and take all these down. All of them. Oh, shit. There's a ton of them. Yeah, there's a lot of them. <laughs> so, because those are all going to manually repair. You can see a lot of them are almost done as it is. Uh, yeah, this is looking good. I think this will work out nicely for us. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and end the episode here, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, hopefully, we'll, we'll be finishing this up next episode. If not that one, then definitely the one after that. Uh, if you did enjoy the video, please leave a like. Consider subscribing to the channel. And thanks for watching, guys.